Hurricane Ida made landfall near New Orleans as a treacherous Category 4 storm with sustained winds of 150 miles per hour. Ida caused severe damage and destruction as it moved ashore, knocking out electricity for more than one million people. Many of them still do not have power in their homes or businesses two weeks later. As they continue to assess the damage incurred by Hurricane Ida, our sisters and brothers in the Louisiana Annual Conference need help from their neighbors in North Texas. We have set the ambitious goal of donating 1,872 cleaning kits, which you might also know by the term flood buckets. It's a five gallon bucket filled to the brim with supplies needed to clean up their communities from laundry detergent and dish detergent to scrub brushes, gloves, trash bags. We even have insect repellent. We have 14 conference churches encompassing each of our four districts that have volunteered to serve in de as depots where you can drop off the completed cleaning kits from sun Sunday, September 12th through Sunday, October 3rd. Information on drop-off sites and hours and instructions about the cleaning kits are available on the North Texas Conference website. And these kits then will be transported to the UMCOR Depot in Pawnee, Illinois in early October. The Sager Brown Depot in Louisiana is closed at this time because of COVID and unable to have volunteers present there. So how did we come up with a goal of 1,872 cleaning kits? That is the exact number that will fill a semi-trailer. And I challenge every pastor in the North Texas Conference to create at least one cleaning kit. And even more importantly, strongly encourage and in fact set a goal for your church for each congregation to take part in this important effort. I pray that you will join me in this important effort. And I thank you all for how you do mission and you continue to do and assist those in need, both in North Texas and beyond. God bless you.